Hi, for this recording, I'm going to show you how to find the volume of a solid under the surface and above a region R on the XY plane. Suppose we are given a surface Z equal to the function of X and Y and this F of XY is greater than or equal to 0 over the region R on the XY plane. Then the volume of the solid below the surface z equal f of xy and above r is given by a double integral f x y dx dy over the region r. Look at the example. Find the volume of the solid whose space is the region in the xy plane that is bounded by y equal to 4 minus x square, y equal to 3x, and the top is bounded by z equal to x plus 4. First, let's try to understand the base. The base is a region R that is on the xy plane bounded by y equal to 4 minus x squared. So, let's sketch y equal to 4 minus x squared here. Then, y equal to 3x. So, I have an R line y equal to 3x. And earlier, we have y equal to 4 minus x squared. This is the part, region R. And the volume of the solid is above this region R. In terms of picture, we have region R at the base, the phase which is a plane, z equal x plus 4. So we're trying to find the volume of the solid below the surface and above region R. Let's try to visualize this. I construct a cylinder with the base bounded by y equal to 4 minus x squared and y equal to 3x. So this is a cylindrical shape object. Then I slide with a plane z equal to x plus 4. Now after I slide this with a the plane, then I get a 3D object to find the volume of this object. Now let's look at another sketch of the object here. This is a 3D solid drawn by a 3D grapher. I have the XY plane here and then the surface Z equal to X plus 4 and the surface Y equal to 4 minus X square and the first thing Y equal to 3X and the solid is bounded by all the surface. Here's another view of the surface. There's an xy plane and y equal to 4 my x square, y equal to 3x which is on the base and then cut by the plane z equal x plus 4 and, and the solid here is what we would intend to find is volume here. Here is another look at the object here. This is the xy plane this is the surface, y equal to 4 minus x squared, the plane y equal to 3x, and the plane z equal to x plus 4 cut this cylinder. The volume we're looking for is here. So to find the volume below the surface above r, you have to do a double integral. You can do integration with respect to dx then dy, or you can do integration with respect to dy then dx. Now I'm going to do the second one, integration with respect to dy first then dx. In order to do this integration, you need to find the limits of integration. To find the limit for x from the diagram, we know that the limit of x is x equal to minus 4 to x equal to 1. Now we can also solve the equation y equal to 4 minus x squared and y equal to x simultaneously to get x equal to minus 4 and x equal to 1. So x equal to minus 4 to 1 is the limit for x. Then you look for the limit for y. To get the limit for y, you draw a vertical line in the yellow region. You'll find that the lower limit of this blue line is y equal to 3x. An upper limit for this blue line, vertical line, is y equal 4 minus x squared. 
So I have obtained the inner limit. Now we're going to do the integration. I must do the inner integration first, which is with respect to y. So when you do the inner integration, x is treated as constant. So integration are constant. When you integrate a constant with respect to y, you get a times y. So integration x plus 4, you get x plus 4 times y. First, I get y equal to 4 minus x squared, upper limit, then subtract y equal to 3x. So after simplifying, when you multiply out, you get the inner integral is 16 minus 8x minus 7x squared minus x cubed for the inner integral. Now let's continue the integration. After I have obtained the inner integral with respect to y, I have this as an inner integral. This is just like an ordinary integral. The equation of constant with respect to x is a times x here. Integration of x power n, x power n plus 1 over n plus 1. You'll get the integral equal to 16x minus 8x squared over 2 minus 7 x power 3 over 3 minus x power 4 over 4 and the lower limit and the lower limit is x equal to minus 4 upper limit is x equal to 1. Now, I put in the upper limit and lower limit, I get two terms for upper limit. This is what I get. The lower limit, I got this. When I put x equal to 1, and x equal to minus 4. After subtracting the answer, I get the value of the volume is 52 and 1 over 12, which is 6 to 5 over 12. Now I'm going to show you how to use a class pack to do this calculation. So let me call up class pack here. But I just give you some idea how to do this. There are software around to do this. So I click to the calculate. I'm going to do integration, integrate again, and the integral I have is open up x plus 4, and then first inner integral is dy, outer integral is dx, and lower limit for x is minus 4, upper limit is 1. Then for inner limit is y is equal to 3x and upper limit is y is equal to 4 minus x squared. Then I press execute. It says the answer is 6 to 5 over 12. So that will show you that you can actually calculate this by machine. Thanks for watching. This is the end of the recording.